Hey guys, we're checking out Porfira by Ocean Swift. This is a new contact library designed specially for Contact 8, and it is a hybrid instrument that combines both wavetable synthesis and a sampler. So we're going to dive into this and I'm going to try and give you as many examples of the presets and sounds. Okay, so before we're checking more sounds, let's see what we have in the user interface. So as you can see on the left, we have a wavetable section, that's layer A. On the right, layer B, that's a sampler. For each one, we have its own controls. I'm gonna show you that. And then we also have a filter on the bottom. We have envelopes and we have two other tabs. So this is the main tab. Then we have effects. And finally, we have some options. Now in the main, you can see that we have this circle in the middle where you can see A and B. That's the blend, blending between layer A and layer B. And then you can dial your own sound, whatever works for you. So now let's see what we have in the wavetable section. So first of all, you can see the wavetable right here. You can see it's uh, kind of faded out uh, the, the different layers and I can morph this. Okay, so we have the morph, but on the top right, we have categories. So we have this cycle table and user categories. And if you then select cycle, for example, you will have a secondary menu for the wavetables. And there's so many to choose from and you can play with this. Uh, th that will bring a different sound. So whatever preset you're selecting, you can always tweak it. Now, if you'll take the cycle, you'll see that we're, we don't have the morph because we're just cycling, that's like an oscillator. But if I'll go and select table, then let's get something, you can see that we are morphing. Now, other things that you can find here is the LFO. So we have four LFOs and you can just select the destination. So it's very easy, very straightforward. So I can go ahead and see what we've got. We have the mix A and B. We can just, you know, morph uh, between A and B, but we can also go and change the panning for layer A or layer B. We can use the wavetable morph, for example. For layer B, the, the sampler, again, we have categories. We have cycle, analog, digital, organic, and so on. And whatever you select, let's go with analog. You'll have a secondary uh, menu here and you can just select something. Let's try the organic. So now let's try some more presets and then go back and check more features of this library.
So next we have the effects tab here. You can see that we have four slots, but each one is dedicated to a specific category of effect. So first one is creative. Here you can, you can find ring modulation, freak, fuzz, big fuzz, and so on. So let's try that. Right, and we also have some presets. Then the next one is modulation related effects like uh, choral, phases, flare that you might recognize from the native instruments effect. Let's try them. And again, we have presets. Next, we have the delay. And here we have replica, we have twin, we have psych. Let's try the replica, which I really love. And we also have some different types to choose. So we have modern, analog, tape, vintage, and diffusion. But again, we have the presets. And finally, we have reverbs. And here you can also find Raum, which is a very good native instruments reverb. Now the LFO is a lot of fun. We have four different LFOs and each one can be assigned to different targets. So for example, the first one right now is going to pitch A. I can change that and use it as the wavetable morph, for example. We can change the depth and we can also lock this to our BPM. And of course there are different wave shapes to choose from, so you can just click and drag up and down. Let's try something else, let's get a different target so we can use this for example, pitch A. Okay, so that was Porfira by Ocean Swift. Let me know in the comments what do you think. If you still have any questions, of course, leave them below this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thank you and bye-bye.